Hillbilly Elegy, A Memoir of a Family and Culture in Crisis by J.D. Vance is an autobiographical account of the author's upbringing in the Rust Belt town of Middletown, Ohio, and the Appalachian Hills of Kentucky. The book provides a deep dive into the socio-economic and cultural factors that have contributed to the decline of the white working class in America, with a particular focus on the author's family history and personal experiences. Vance begins by tracing his family's roots back to the Scots-Irish immigrants who settled in the Appalachian region of the United States in the early 18th century. These immigrants, known as hillbillies, were characterized by their fierce independence, distrust of authority, and strong work ethic. They were also marked by a deep-seated sense of pride in their rural heritage and resistance to change. The author's grandparents, Jack and Dolly Vance, were born into poverty in the hills of Kentucky, but managed to escape it through hard work and determination. They moved to Ohio in search of better opportunities, settling in Middletown, where Jack found work at a General Motors plant. The Vances were typical of their generation in that they embraced the American dream and worked tirelessly to improve their lives. However, Vance's parents Jackie and Bev struggled to maintain this upward mobility. Jackie, like his father before him, worked at the GM plant while Bev held a series of low-paying jobs and eventually became addicted to prescription painkillers. The family lived in a rundown neighborhood and frequently moved from one rental property to another. Throughout his childhood, Vance and his siblings were shuffled between their parents' homes and those of their grandparents, who had also moved to Middletown. The author describes his grandparents as pillars of the community, volunteering at church and helping their neighbors in times of need. They instilled in Vance and his siblings a strong sense of family loyalty and the importance of hard work. At the same time, Vance was exposed to the negative aspects of hillbilly culture, including violence, substance abuse, and a lack of education. He witnessed his mother's struggles with addiction and his uncle's criminal behavior. These experiences led him to question the wisdom of blindly adhering to hillbilly values and to seek out alternative paths for himself and his family. As Vance grew older he became increasingly aware of the broader social and economic forces that were contributing to the decline of his community. The closure of the GM plant in Middletown, coupled with the loss of other manufacturing jobs, left many residents without employment opportunities. The lack of education and skills training among the local population exacerbated this problem, as did the opioid epidemic, which ravaged the community and destroyed countless lives. Vance also identified a cultural component to the crisis including a distrust of outsiders and resistance to change that made it difficult for hillbillies to adapt to new economic realities. This was compounded by the breakdown of the family structure, as more and more children were raised by single parents or in foster care. Despite these challenges, Vance managed to break free from the cycle of poverty and dysfunction that had plagued his family for generations. He credits his success largely to the support and encouragement he received from his grandparents who instilled in him a strong work ethic and a belief in the importance of education. Vance also benefited from a series of fortunate circumstances, including a scholarship to a private school and a mentor, who helped him navigate the college application process. Ultimately, Vance's story is one of resilience and determination in the face of overwhelming adversity. He offers a nuanced portrayal of hillbilly culture, acknowledging its strengths while also highlighting its shortcomings. By sharing his personal journey, Vance hopes to shed light on the complex issues facing America's white working class and to inspire others to find a way out of the cycle of poverty and despair.